So, nung birthday ko, binigyan niya ako ng, ito talaga yung first video. Yung, if you check my videos, this is vlog number one when we unbox and review the Kyrie 2 uh, championship sneakers. Yan po. So, my wife is there. Yan yung pinakamadami kong views na video. It's pretty good for recording. So yung ginawa ko, I just uh, play the YouTube karaoke song and then I I sang to a favorite song of my mom. It's called Close to You. Close to You ba? Oh, it's called Close to You by the Carpenters. I In this video, we will be talking about how to make a unboxing or review YouTube channel. By the way, for those of you who are new here, my name is Pedro Bulianis and you know that you have a purpose. In this channel, we declare I have a purpose. Thank you for all of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel. For those of you who haven't yet subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for you to be updated with our new videos. And if you want to join and be a member of this channel, click the join button there and we have perks for you. So, in this uh, segment, I have interviewed a Canadian Filipino uh, OFW or overseas Filipino worker, and in his channel, his name is Babachuk14, and we will see how he started his unboxing and review YouTube channel. So here we go. Nung mga ten years ago po, so nung dumating ako ng Canada. Wala po akong TV, walang, wala lahat, walang... So my only uh, entertainment or way to get news is from YouTube or from social media. So yung po ang libangan ko pag wala akong pasok, YouTube lang po. Doon ako nanonood ng mga videos kung anong nangyayari sa mga paborito kong uh, idols or sa sports or sa news. So I always look at their videos where they're reviewing uh, shoes, movies, uh, mga bagong uh, toys. So I keep watching that. So parang nawala na rin ako sa TV. Yung, hindi na ako nanonood ng TV because I was rather watch YouTube. So as time went by, my wife, got here. So, yun, meron na kami TFC, bumili na kami ng TV, bumili na kami ng bahay. So, nung time na yun, medyo naging okay na yung income namin. So, I still watch YouTube and my wife watches TV. So, nung birthday ko, binigyan niya ako ng, ito talaga yung first video. Yung, if you check my videos, this is vlog number one when we unbox and review the Kyrie 2 uh, championship sneakers. Yan po. So my wife is there. Yan yung pinakamadami kong views na video. And it was very short, pero wala talagang trip-trip lang namin yan. Wala talagang intention to make a full-time YouTube channel. And it's not... Kahit ngayon, hindi naman ako nang full time. Parang weekends lang. Kasi pag mag-edit po ng video, hindi po madali. Matagal po. Madaling mag-shoot. Napakatagal matapos mag-edit. And then, nung dumating po yung Christmas, nag-release po ang Jordan ng Space Jam number 12. Which, bigay din po ni Missy sa akin ng Christmas gift. And yun, yun na po yung nangyayari. Hindi nga po ako consistent nung uploading. Like every, dati ang tagal po mag-upload bago mag next ano. Kaya yun, parang trip-trip ko lang na gumawa ng video. And dahil dito po sa Canada din, you have to be confident and you have to practice your English so this was a way for me to be confident with speaking with other people and yun I practiced with uh, YouTube and even this video I wasn't very good with 
uh, public speaking. YouTube is very good in helping us build confidence and express ourselves. And to find other people then uh, mahilig sa anong hilig mo. So like for me, I found a lot of friends na mahilig din sa mga sneakers o kaya sa mga action figures na makakatulong din sa inyo. Like if you want to buy this certain thing na hindi available sa inyo minsan, nakakatulong sila na you buy from them and then yeah, everything evolved. Ayun lang po. Doon po nagsimula talaga sa Kairi. Wow, 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 wow. Look at that. So for all our sneaker heads, all right, I'm really um, advising you. This is, Actually, this was really like uh, the first time that I uh, I had this um, this channel looked up is because I had uh, I just bought an Air Jordan 12 um uh, what was that Air Jordan 12? I don't know. And then I was, uh, I was, ooh, look at that. Somebody's like reviewing a lot of shoes here. And he's really like a legit sneakerhead. And then I was uh, checking uh, Baba Chuck's um, uh, pro, uh, YouTube channel. And it was really legit, 100% legit. And then I came to realize that he was a Filipino. So I was like, okay. Okay, let's do this. And then I have, I've seen his videos and it really is uh, very helpful, especially like what we were uh, talking about if uh, actually like the, the, the stocks that we have here in the Philippines are sometimes delayed compared to them. They have their new release and stuff like that. So he's making videos of that. So if I were you guys, please subscribe to his YouTube channel. Here is the question, uh, Sir Baba okay. Chuck. All right. Um, how many... If you don't mind, if you don't mind, just just don't say the the, the estimate, all right? Uh, the, don't, don't say the exact word. How many pairs of sneakers did you have since that first Kyrie video? If you could just remember, just just pick a number, uh, estimate, estimate. I could know, I know you you couldn't like um, say uh, all of it. How many? Twenty. Twenty na po ata. And when you say 20, guys, this is not just 20, like, uh, shoes that are really, uh, uh, what do you call this one, uh, uh, familiar with us? But these are really, like, collector's uh, shoes and shoes that he's really spending a lot for that, too. So, anyway, sir, going back to that, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting a little bit excited when it comes to sneakers. I, actually, to be honest with you, Sir Baba Chuck, the very reason I made my first video three years ago is that I wanted to feature all my sneakers too. So I had my first uh, three videos there. It's called Sapatos Journey. So I featured a Kobe Blitz shoe, Jordan 4s, Jordan 5s. And yeah, but you know what? Uh, to be honest with you there came a point in time that I gave up like a year because I was like I could never sustain this this is gonna be hard like me uh, me editing it me making the video out of it anyway but for you guys who's listening to this and if you are gonna be watching this in YouTube I'm, I'm telling you we need to help one another especially for those of you Filipinos maybe here at, at the Philippines or out, out outside of the Philippines like uh, Sir Baba Chuck here um, I'm telling you guys you have we have to I'm, I'm, I'm making this YouTube review uh, channel review to help one another like build each other up especially now because YouTube is already flooded with uh, um, especially with the pandemic it's already flooded with celebrities okay. flooded with people who are already popular so sino pa yung magtutulungan tayo na lang yung magtutulungan all right it's not just uh, about that but it's it's helping one another grow to in our youtube journey and i believe sir um baba chuck here I, i'm going to be look at this guys look at this videos that he had he had air jordan 12 air jordan 13 look at that everything and then as you could see him, his, his editing, his videos really good. Even just three years ago, imagine that. He, he has already, his first video was 4.1K views. Unlike me, I, my first video is like, oh my goodness, if I could, I, I, I don't want to be like, I want to be honest with you guys. Look at this. This is my channel here. Um, I'm going to let you see the videos here. Here, look at this. If you will not believe me, look at that. 29 views. 66 views. Imagine that. 
All right, I was featuring shoes there, Kobe Blitz, Jordan 5 Hornet, some some, some kind of like that, Tony Parker, Jordan 6 Oreo, my Jordan 7s and 4s. But this, is, this, this night, it's not about me here. But my point is this. We have to support this channel out here, Baba Chuck 14. This guy, this guy here is, I believe, really legit, guys. And so much for me talking here. So aside from the shoes, well, maybe it, let's, let's, just, let's just talk about shoes because I really love shoes. What, uh, what made you had uh, have this passion for sneakers? Because uh, everybody has their sneaker story, all right? My, my sneaker story was... Um, I didn't have any pair of shoes when I was in high school, all right? Me too. I just have a school shoe, all right? And, and guess what? I have three older brothers, and they have already shoes. Iverson shoes, Reebok, remember that? <laughs> uh -huh. And then they have Jordan, uh, uh, Nike Shox shoes, remember? Uh, yes. That was really popular back in, in my time. Um, what else? Like um, other shoes like Converse shoes, like for natural. But what was your sneaker story, Sir Rabachak? I believe um, I really know that sneakerheads are going to be watching your video here. What was your sneaker story? So, you sw I think started in high school when medyo uh, matanda na rin ako. So, nung high school, I think. That was the year, those years was the first repeat of the Chicago Bulls. So, doon sumikat talaga si Michael Jordan, then went to college. And during those times in college was the last uh, three-peat. And doon sobrang sikat yung Jordan 11. Halos lahat ng pag napapanood mo sa TV, parang sobrang gustong gusto mong magka-Jordan 11, which nung high school ako, well, we didn't have that much money. so Kung nasa Pilipinas ka, alam mong merong mga imitation. So hanggang imitation lang ako. I've never gotten the originals. So makikita mo sa mga kaklase mo, yung iba sa kanila nakakabili ng mga Jordans na original. Ako hanggang tingin lang. So yeah, so when I got here, well... I saved up money and yun, yung pangarap ko sa buhay, I started, this was one of my holy grails, the 11s. Mm -hmm. And I finally got this and yeah, ang sarap ng feeling na makuha mo yung grail na gusto mo. And then, yeah, I love watching basketball, especially nung time nung 80s, 90s. Uh, it's a different kind of basketball na ngayon where I don't want to rant, but everybody joins super teams. Hindi tulad nung dati. Yeah, everyone's have their own opinion. Pero ako, gusto ko yung old school where you strive to win your by your own. You have two or three good guys with you. Pero nowadays, it's recruiting, recruiting, and yeah. That's that's why uh, I still love the old school shoes. Kahit napakaganda na ng tech ng mga shoes ngayon. Comparing mo yung old sneakers to the new sneakers. Napakagaang, napaka yung airflow, yung ventilation ng mga bagong sapatos. Sobrang advanced compared mo sa mga Jordans. If you play in these ones, although this one is already medyo high-tech na kasi mesh na, tapos may zoom units, tapos yung may heel support. Pero yung sa ngayon, sobrang like the Kobe's, yung mga Kobe na shoes, sobrang gaang. Ka, pati yung kay KD ngayon, which also one of my sad moments is uh, since this year's oh no ngayon taon nakabili ko dalawang shoes lang kasi dahil sa COVID uh, nagbabawas din kami ng oras sa work and yeah this COVID thing is affecting everyone 
So, mahirap na rin mag-sustain na laging bumibili ng shoes. And the last one was, yeah, a birthday gift. Again, from my wife, yung sa idol ko, si Allen Iverson. The smallest big man to ever lead his team to the finals against the Lakers. And the only team that beat the Lakers in that year, Allen Iverson. So, I had to get his sneakers. In my collection, kahit puro Nike at Air Jordan lang yung binibili ko dati. So, that one. And then I also had uh, yung sarili kong bili, yung hindi gift, yung ano, Vince Carter na BB4. Excuse me. Yun yung last na bili ko. So, yun yung mga idols ko, si Jordan... Vince Carter, Allen Iverson, Latrell Sprewell, Tim Duncan. Nung college pala ako, nakabili ako nung shoes ni Tim Duncan na Adidas kasi maraming Adidas na sneaker shop sa Pilipinas. And compare mo sa Jordan at uh, Nike brands dati, mas affordable yung sneakers nila. So, yun, yun yung sneaker story ko. Wow. Grabe. Imagine nyo yan, guys. If you are getting value out of what we are talking right now, please, guys, I'm telling you, I'm uh, really uh, vouching this guy here, Sir Babachak14, is really had a good uh, heart. And, sir, speaking of the gifts of your wife, all right, Shout out to your wife, all right? If you guys could relate to this man here, you know, it's really like um, one of a, really one of a kind. O- almost everybody also supports their, like, sneaker trend of, 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 of their, uh, their husbands. But really, your wife, it, like, shout out to her. Like, thank you, ma'am, for making this possible for Sir Baba Chuck here. I know you could also afford that, but, like, having a gift from your wife and supporting this would also be great. So, okay. So, the question is this. Have you really wore, wore all of your shoes that you have bought or some of them you are just putting it there on collection? If you don't yes. mind you, you saying that. Sinusot, sinusot ko po. Ayokong masira lang na nakadisplay kasi kahit itong mga to sinasabi nilang ang tanda-tanda ko na naglalaro. <laughs> Kasi I have also friends na uh, nagjo-join din ako ng Facebook groups ng mga collectors ng mga ganito. Marami din matatanda pero mas matindi sila kasi hindi nila nilalabas sa box. Gusto nilang nakabox pa rin. And ewan ko, but for me, I don't know why bibili ka ng bagay na hindi mo gagamitin or just the display mo kasi I don't know if nanonood din kayo ng uh, YouTube channel ni Bitoy, ni Michael V. I think may nakita rin akong video niya na sabi niya, you only live once. And parang siya rin ata, sinusuot niya rin yung mga sneakers niya or nilalaro niya rin yung toys niya. Although nakita ko sa channel niya, meron din siyang mga ano na hindi rin, nakabox pa rin. Ewan ko if kasi hindi rin ako consistent nanonood ng videos ni Bitoy like from time to time lang. So yun. And yeah, sayang din yung shoes pag nasira lang na naka-display. Lalo na pag ano yung dito sa Seoul. Sayang. Na-experience ko na yan dati sa Pilipinas. Naka-display lang. Kaya yun. Yeah. So speaking about your toys there at the back. All right. If you don't mind, what is the most um, memorable or most uh, dear to you na na toy mo dyan or na collection mo ng... Dan dyan, sa likod mo, sabi, sobrang rami. Ano ba yung very me- memorable sa'yo na so, talaga binili sa, mo? Sa story ko na to, since pag bumili ka kasi ng sapatos, it's like 200... $200, $150. So, sa isang buwan, hindi naman isang shoes lang ang lumalabas. Medyo marami. So, pero pag ito, 
Yung isang ganto, $20. Yung malalaki, $60. So, nung nag-stop ako ng, ng shoes, parang dito na pumunta yung income ko. Yung, di rin naman, like, from every every sahod, bumibili ako ng isa. Kaya, yun, ganun nangyari. So, ang pinaka-memorable ko is nandun sa sa display so I'm going to show yung icon shelf ko <laughs> yan yung uh, parang mga childhood icons ko na ano so itong Optimus Prime na masterpiece yan yung pinaka ano ko bale $100 yan nung binili ko like ewan ko ilang years na yun 6 years ago ata so, yan yung pinakamahal kong nabiling transport. <laughs> so, yun. Yun yung, ano ko, memorable na transformers ko. And then, yun, si Jollibee. Nung unang nagbukas yung Jollibee dito sa amin, pumila kami, nakakuha ko yung giveaway. Kaya yun, naka-display dun. Dito wow, sa... That's... Dito sa yes, Canada, si sir. Dito sa Canada, yung Jollibee, pag nandyan tayo sa Pilipinas, parang natitaken for granted ng mga tao. Pero pag nakalabas ka, Diyos ko, parang pag nakita mo po yung Jollibee nagbukas dito, ang haba ng pila hanggang parking lot po. Kaya kailangan ng number before ka makapasok. Tsaka naka, ano, kasi winter nagbukas yung ano dito. Kahit malamig, minus 17 ata, minus 20 yung ano. Ang dami pa rin nakapila. Tsaka yung mga puti, nagtataka sila anong nangyayari. Kasi for the first time sa buhay nila, ganyan, ngayon lang sila nakakitang isang restaurant na nagbukas na grabe yung pila. <laughs> wow. That's really great. Actually, sorry, nag enjoy ako dito manood ng mga videos mo. Anyway, going back to that, sir, um, Baba Chak, let's, let's, let's be, uh, let's go to the more technical stuff here. Um, what's the YouTube dream? Or what, 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 what do you want to accomplish with, with your YouTube channel? If you don't mind, I, I know, aside from like, um, like, uh, sharing, sharing your 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 reviews and stuff like that uh, what what do you see in your channel uh, do you see it as something to inspire people or some a channel that would uh, help and uh, inspire them na sabihin mo sa kanila na pwede pwede din kayong mag-collect if you are just uh, or may mga dreams kayo sa nung bata kayo and then you could also achieve that when you grow up. what what's the what's the like the storyline if if i could say baba chak um uh, baba chak 14 all right Ano ba? What what would you um, let uh, your subscribers remember? So for sa for me, yung Baba Chak 14 is uh, what I wanted to share is uh, you can start your own YouTube channel kahit sino ka pa, kahit anong level ka ng ano sa buhay. As, kasi halos lahat naman ng tao ngayon merong cellphone. To tell you the truth, ang ginagamit ko ngayon, cellphone lang. Never akong nakabili nung mga camera na mga ginagamit ng mga vloggers. Kahit anong ano, wala. Bumili na ako, may cellphone na ako. Tapos, yung itong tripod na ginagamit ko, nakasale. Halos lahat ng equipment ko dito, nakasale. Itong headphones na gamit ko, kasama lang to ng cellphone. So, you don't need uh, anything fancy na mga gamit para makastart ng YouTube channel. Kung gusto mong mag-express ng sarili mo and you really love something, uh, start your own YouTube channel. It's a good way na makahanap ng friends tulad kay Sir Pedro. Na, yeah, hindi talaga kami magkakilala dito lang sa YouTube and it's a good Tsaka magandang platform yung YouTube to be able to talk to other Filipinos or kung nasa Pilipinas ka, 
makahanap ka ng kaibigan sa states or sa other countries which na makakatulong sa iyo or if meron kang dream na mag-abroad or kahit anong dream mo na you might discover someone who can help you there o tsaka sa sneakers naman it's uh, one way na sometimes merong mga sneakers na madaming lumalabas so it's also a good way to help with uh, uh, with the money so sa ang sneakers ka mas magandang makasave or yung medyo comfortable or it's a good bang for your buck and then sa ito naman sa mga pop culture items ko dito so ito yung ano ko libangan so if you really love something mag-ipon lang tayo ng pera and uh, work hard ika nga kahit ako sa work yung medyo minsan sa pagtatrabaho nakakapagod nakaka-stress masakit na yung katawan mo yung motto ko sa sarili ko work for what you want kahit gusto mo nang sumuko sa trabaho mo dahil may pangarap kang gustong bilhin o ano kailangan nating magtrabaho there's no shortcuts in life lalo na ngayon sa panahon ng covid napakahirap talaga ng buhay so And it's also one way of ilabas mo yung stress mo. So, maraming problema tayo sa buhay and YouTube is one of the ways where nailalabas mo yung anong gusto mong sabihin. It's a good feeling of talking because sometimes marami tayong kinikimkim sa sarili natin. And pag nilabas natin yan, parang gumagaan yung pakiramdam natin. So, That's YouTube is a lot of help. Kait hindi mo kait caka you will learn editing. Yun yung pinaka biggest lessons na na tutunan ko sa pag YouTube. Marun matuto kang mag-edit ng videos, which can also help you in applying for other jobs, because you know how to edit stuff. So marami ring mga trabaho na kailangan mong mag-edit ng videos lalo na ngayon na napakaano ng social media and technology so yun it, youtube is a big help so there it goes if you have learned something from this video if you have any questions leave it on the comment section below and now we have learned how to make an unboxing or review youtube channel see you on our next video and this has been pedro and join us as we declare i have a purpose God bless. And after that, parang naisipan ko po na um, why not quarantine ngayon like yung mga kabataan din or mga youth na kagaya ko is um, humahaba na rin yung hair nila during pandemic. So why not after that, makakatulong din tayo sa mga cancer patients na ganyan. So ayun po yung naisip ko.